Thank you so much for joining us as we continue the exciting conversation about shaping the future for Montgomery School. We began a process of creating our strategic pillars just over two years ago. Remember last year's theme for the school was Imagine, and we had a series of sessions called Imagine 2040, in which we sat with parents, we sat with members of the Board of Trustees, also with the faculty and even with some students and said, what will the world be like in 2040? And what skills and habits and dispositions will we all need to be successful in that future? That was just the beginning of getting input from the community. We formed a strategic pillars group, which was made up of trustees, faculty, and administration. We took all of the data that came out of the 2040 discussions. We took a whole lot of other looks at the world around us. We brought in data from what other schools are doing, from what other organizations are doing. And we thought about what does it mean to be Montgomery in the next frame of our future and beyond. From imagining the future and thinking about what the world will be like, we moved into this year, which is really a year of explore. And our, our theme this year uh, tied neatly into what we were doing, which is exploring the possibilities within the things that we know, our strengths, as well as our vision for what we want to achieve for our students. And coming together with our committee, we landed on four strategic pillars. Those pillars in kind of Big letters are advance our programs, prioritize our people, steward our place, and innovate our platform. And we'll talk more about what those four pillars mean, but they really touch every part of who we are today and also have something that represents every constituency that interacts with the school. So it's a comprehensive way of looking at how we can all move together as a community. With Looking Forward in mind, I am here with the Chair of the Board of Trustees, Maureen Rukin, who has been part of this process and helping the Board to conceptualize where we're going to go. And I'm very proud to work with her and uh, share this vision with you for your feedback. Maureen? Thanks, Tom. Um, it's a pleasure to be here today and to be involved in this process. I was a Montgomery School mom for the whole time my daughter was here, and she was here pre-K through 8. Uh, she's now a college sophomore, so uh, it has been a little while, but I've been on the board for the past six years. I've been chair for the past two years, and I was involved in the last st strategic plan process, uh, and it's been really exciting to be involved in this one and be able to look so far forward. So Tom, you mentioned the four pillars, but I think it's time that we should probably dive into a little bit more detail about each of the pillars. So you want to take pillar number one? Sure. Uh, pillar number one is where we always start when we talk about Montgomery School, and that's the students and what we build for them. And so we have an amazing program. We do so many things so well at Montgomery that when we turn our attention to our program, we're really talking about how to grow the things that we value, how to keep, keep our traditions and hold them tightly, but also continue to keep an eye on the world that our children will enter and to think about how to really enhance and invest in those things um, that are most meaningful for that imagined future. To advance our program can look like a lot of different things. Uh, to begin with, we want to continue to elevate Montgomery's expertise in the areas of student thinking and learning strategies. At the end of the day, when a student leaves Montgomery, it's their skills and their habits and the way that they approach their work their confidence in the way they approach the world that matters the most. They'll learn a lot of things here, but those skills that they bring with them are important. And so we really need to keep looking at, at the ways that we develop those, uh, both internally and in the structures that we uh, create around students. A second area that we think about is the school's continuing excellence in developing character and self-awareness and a sense of belonging for all students. So thinking about what tactics, what ways could we get into developing those things further, which we know are hallmarks of a student's education here at Montgomery. 
We also want to look at excelling in academic and educational applications of emerging technologies. Every conversation we had about imagining the future recognized that the world technology is changing very quickly. So we as a faculty and as leadership in the school are looking at ways that we can make sure that our students are not only current, but have the right mindset about how to employ those technologies to their benefit. A fourth and important area that we are focused on under enhancing our program is to continue to expand the school's very intentional emphasis on physical and mental health. Our children are growing and they're growing in a world that is constantly changing. We want to equip them with the ability to have self-care as well as care for the world around them. And so enhancing those programs and finding particular ways to do so in this coming period of time will really be important for them. You know, Tom, this one really excites me because I see the impact of this, how strong the program was here at Montgomery School and the difference that it has made in my daughter's education, both in high school and college. So the fact that you're gonna take it even further and advance things, you know, to the, what, what 2040 looks like, um, really gets me excited. So, and it's so important. So the second pillar, which is to prioritize our people, right? We couldn't do what we do without having people in place. And when we talk about people, we're talking about the faculty, the staff, the students, the family, the community around us. So it, you know, it's all encompassing of everybody that touches Montgomery School and that is involved. So let me give you a little bit of uh, insight into the goals that will support this prioritizing our people. The first will be to grow the faculty and staff compensation, the benefits, the learning opportunities, so that we can make Montgomery School a workplace of choice for e excellent educators. It's important, it has become very competitive out there in the marketplace, so if we want to attract the best, we have to have something to give them that's worthwhile. Um, the second goal is to enhance and deepen the family and the school connections. Uh, you can feel it when you come on campus. There is a community feel here, the support, the love. It extends beyond just our campus. Um, you can see it, it's pretty evident. You feel it, it's part of the culture. Uh, but what can we do that's different? What can we do more in this area to make sure that that continues? We wanna energize and engage our alum. It is so important this school has had an impact on them throughout not just their education here, but even beyond. Um, and as I mentioned earlier, I can see it in my own kid. So what can we do to bring them back and get them engaged in the community, right? It's, it's just so invigorating. And then finally, to deepen our strong community values of in inclusion and belonging. Um, the board this year, for the past two years, has been doing a bunch of work in the area of inclusion and belonging, as has the school. And it's important that we make sure that everybody here has a voice that they feel comfortable um, and that they have a place and that they feel like this is their place. Yeah. So. Um, I, I love what you said and relating it to your experience with your own daughter, of um, how it makes a mark on the students as they move into the world. And uh, I don't talk to alumni from Montgomery that they don't get very excited, mm -hmm. uh, both remembering their time here, but also speaking really specifically to the ways that the school has uh, helped them uh, in, in later on in their life. So. Um, that, that community, the parent community, um, and and of course the faculty and staff. We we wouldn't we wouldn't have a community here day in and day out without families and without the people that that dedicate so much. So yeah. um, I'm excited that this is the second pillar. <laughs> um, another signature aspect of Montgomery School, and it feels these days synonymous with Montgomery School, is this place. Um, and so stewarding our place as a third pillar seems really uh, like the, the best outcome for us uh, in this process we've been going through. Uh, it has a number of different levels. You know, uh, the, the place is not just one thing and, and increasingly uh, the ground and the air and the water are as resonant as the buildings. Um, all of these things really matter in the education of our students and they really matter in the overall ecosystem and relationship to, uh, to the neighborhood and the world around us. So when we think about this pillar, we're thinking about um, celebrating and nurturing Montgomery's unique outdoor learning program, the work of school that happens not just in a room, but 
you know, in, in boots in the creek or um, with the bees in the meadow uh, or uh, on nature walks of all different kinds around the campus or playing some pickup football or soccer on the top field. Um, what does the, the outdoor aspect of the school uh, mean and what can it mean as we continue to invest in that aspect? Um, the second aspect is sustaining and stewarding our natural campus resources and environment and serving as a community model and example for that. Um, so when we talk about this, we're really talking about the dual service uh, that we get from bringing students into the environment. One is that they learn and they might have that impact in, on future communities and future environments. But the other is also right now, how do we care for the land, the water, um, not, which at the end of the day don't belong to us but belong to, to everyone. So um, how do we steward and how do we do that in a way that's responsible and visible um, to students and to our local community and what we found is that there's a lot of interest in that, um, that we're part of a community, a larger community that cares a lot about, uh, about our land. Um, and then as a third area under um, stewarding our place um, caring for and responsibly evolving our facilities and infrastructure to support future needs. So as the program grows, so the campus grows. Um, and we want to be very mindful at the same time, be excited about what that could mean for us. Um, obviously, uh, we're sitting here in the Innovation Center, which is a, an opportunity uh, that was right here within our grasp to uh, expand the learning opportunities through the facility that already exists um, and, and to realize that while being mindful of, okay, this, how will this impact what's around it? And I think we did a great job with that. So we're doing some, some real thinking about in this next frame of time, in the piece of the future that we can uh, put our hands on, what could we do to evolve the campus um, to meet future needs? Um, in, in just the last couple of years, I've mentioned this space, the Creek classroom, um, the work that we're doing in the meadow, uh, some of the, the different uh, renovation projects that are happening around the campus. Um, we're always thinking about what's next. And it's so different and unique, I mean, to be able to go outside for science class because you learned about biology and then you raise trout and go release them. It's beautiful, it's amazing. It's amazing what we get to do outside the classroom here. Our fourth pillar is innovate our platform. And by platform, we mean the basis on which everything that is possible um, can happen at Montgomery School. And while we have a really strong enrollment here and things that were higher enrollment than we ever have been, and um, things are going great in that area, the energy, the morale, the culture is unbelievable. You know, we need to be creative in funding sources in order to make some of these strategic pillar initiatives happen. Um, so the goals as it relates to innovate our platform are things like investing in fundraising capacity to steward major gifts and an endowment. Um, this would enable us to do some of the creative things that, we'll, that we're visioning for 20, 2040. Um, and then to fully realize some of the tax benefit programs like EITC to support students and um, allow for budget enhancement. You know, by increasing our fundraising in that area, it enables us to bring in students of economic diversity and be able to um, ease up on the financial aid needs. Maureen, I'm really glad that you're talking about this part of it because um, you and the Board of Trustees and so many supporters that we've had at the school long before my time have made the school we have today possible. And so the kind of giving that you're talking about, the kind of dedication, I know it's something you do and you already participate in and many people in our community do. And we're talking about uh, bringing that message to even more people as part of this st uh, the strategic pillar. So um, thank you for what you do. And uh, thanks to everyone for what they do to support the school. So yet another goal for Innovate Our Platform uh, is to develop a coordinated grant strategy to fund diverse initiatives across the strategic pillars. Um, and this is so important because the community around us, uh, you know, they benefit from a lot of what the school does and the students that go out into the community. Um, and it's important for us to find partnerships with, whether it be corporations or other nonprofits, um, to help support all that the school is trying to do. Um, and it doesn't have to just be a monetary support. It could be that maybe they have a technological 
um, capability that we might want to bring somebody in to support the school. I mean, there's just so many different ways that we can go about this. So Tom, I think some of the components that relate to Innovate Our Platform, like uh, planned giving, EITC, grants, uh, endowments, things of that nature, may be foreign or unknown to a lot of people or may seem overwhelming because I know I was one of those people with EITC for years, like three or four years. Um, it was a mystery to me and now that I have finally done it, it's so easy. Um, and even with planned giving, you know, I, it, Montgomery School's in my will. And so I think that um, it's important for people to know that you can ask questions. You can, you know, come to Tom, you can come to myself, you can come to any of the board members or Jess, the development person, and ask questions about those because those are the ways that we're going to be able to fund a lot of the strategic pillar work that we want to do. Yes, and the, and the success of that innovation to really sustain the school in the future depends on people understanding some of these things that are about the business of the school. And, um, and I think in schools that's always a, a challenge and so one of the reasons why we wanted to make sure to mention that uh, to, to the community that these are not mystifying things and these are the way that schools thrive and survive in the future. Um, so uh, not only ask us questions, but we'll be talking about these things uh, because they're really important for the students of today, but also for the students of tomorrow at Montgomery. Another goal as it relates to the Innovate Our platform is to capitalize on our reputation, which is really strong in the community. And we can capitalize on this um, as it relates to academic excellence, to provide auxiliary services and revenue to the school. What we've learned is that many people reach out to Montgomery School for our expertise even beyond enrolling their children. Our families ask about after-school programs, enrichment programs, and even tutoring because they respect what we do for our students. So with the strategic plan, we'll be looking at additional ways we might share that expertise with a wider audience. I don't know that a lot of people realize that tuition doesn't cover the entire bill. And so we have to be creative in other ways that we can bring revenue to the, to the school. Um, and finally, we wanna make sure we leverage our facilities for community partnership and increased auxiliary revenue. Um, so we have partnerships with SALT, and we've had other partnerships that we've explored, but we have a community- ESF. ESF, Summer camp. right? Yes. Um, but there's other opportunities because whenever we choose to partner with somebody, their values are in, of, in alignment with ours, and that's important because culture is such an important part of the community here, so. I, I think it, um you know, we're not an island. Even though we're across a, a, a creek, we're across the bridge, and um, we feel very self-contained, we, we connect with so many other causes and organizations and groups um, mm -hmm. that are in our immediate area, and um, I think that, that those kinds of partnerships are mutually enriching. Um, and they really provide a lens for students to see, oh, okay, I saw, I saw this group that's working with us here on campus, so now I see them out in the community and I understand um, that to move things in the world, you really have to make those kinds of connections. So um, it, it, it resonates on multiple levels. Yeah. Um, but we have a great gift in, in our campus and in our facilities uh, that we can use them um, with other groups and in partnership. And we have an amazing community that has supported us tremendously thus far. Um, and you know, the, whether it be the faculty, the staff, our community, the board of trustees, you know, it takes a village to make this happen. And uh, you've done an amazing job finding partners that really align. It's a win-win, really, yeah. for both Montgomery School and the people that we choose to partner with, so. Every partnership that we have developed with the school, um, or every time that we've brought uh, someone from the outside in, there's always been some common thread, right? Whether it's the mission, 